The much anticipated return to organized gambling happened today in Southern California. Viejas Casino and Resort in Alpine welcomed a capacity crowd. It is the first of five tribal casinos opening this week despite coronavirus stay at home rules keeping other businesses closed. News A's Steve Fiorina was at Viejas tonight to see how it was going. Pent up demand. People starve for a chance to gamble. Today, they rolled the dice and more. The thrill of sudden riches. It does happen. I won a jackpot, so I'm cool. How much you win? Uh, 1700 Wow. Yeah. Made his day and worth the wait. 20-minute line when they arrived earlier in the day. Of course, those lines grew longer. Once inside, there was social distancing in response to the COVID-19 guideline. It was good. How separated was everybody? It was all right. Everybody was at the distance they're supposed to be. There were lots of happy people exiting VA Haas after getting their fix. It was nice though. Everybody was at distance and I enjoyed it. A little crowding as eager gamblers slowly moved toward the entrances. But we're told they stayed farther apart at the slots and gaming table. At least six feet apart. It was well spaced. Did you feel safe? Sure, yeah, with all the... Um, cleaning stations, uh, everybody with their uh, mask on. We have a few glimpses inside and high marks from some who had been worried about staying safe. Well, they've done everything right. They have every other slot machine um, unoccupied, so it's all safe distancing. One drawback of note, you might have to wait on a handle to pull. Someone might be hovering too, waiting on yours. It's hectic to get a machine because there's only every other machine is operating. And so you kind of have to wait for someone to get off. If you have a favorite machine, you're not going to get to it. There are parking spaces and buses running and heavy duty cleaning planned before Viejas reopens around dawn. Wednesday, it's Sequan. Thursday, Hamul. And Friday, both Valley View and Harris joining the party. The floodgates are open. Tomorrow, we'll see how it's all assessed. Steve Fiorina, News 8.